So Chelsea, we are going into Money in the Bank weekend, obviously a big spotlight on this event every year. I want to contrast this to a number of years ago when you and four others were going into the first Queen of the Mountain match and it really felt like a the five of you really going out there to prove yourselves. How is the mindset diff this time for this ladder match for yourself? Are you looking at this more personally or are you looking at this as similar in that regard? I mean, at the end of the day, work is work and I'm here to win. And so I'm going into Money in the Bank the exact same way I went into Queen of the Mountain, which is uh, a winner. I've got the winning mindset, the winning mentality, and I'm here in the motherland, so how could I not win? Tell me a bit about the transition you had to go through when Sonia Deville went down with the injury and moving to Piper Niven, giving a new identity to the team and that pivot you had to make. Well, here's the thing. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to succeed with whoever I'm paired with, but I think what a lot of people don't realize is First, I was with Carmela. You know, of course, she was right. pregnant. Then I was put with Sonia Deville. Sonia Deville and I, we already had history. We already liked each other from Tough Enough. And then when I was paired with Piper Niven, I had an even more extensive history with her. So it was actually a very easy transition because Piper and I were friends. And that makes a huge difference going into a tag team. You need to trust your partner. So I've really, I mean, I feel like I've had it easy because all these girls, I've had an actual personal connection to over your past 10 years now have you had a chance to reflect like you have been through so many interesting situations working for various companies are you in a mindset in your career now where anything that's thrown my way i can handle it and make it work <laughs> honestly yes and i think the difference now between like i mean even two years ago is after being released from wwe you realize i love work i love being here but I need to enjoy my life outside of work too. I need to make sure my home life is good. You know, my relationships are good with my family and friends. I've got dogs, I've got cats, like all that stuff is what matters. At the end of the day, I go to work, I have fun, I do my job, but I still have to clock out, you know? And that's just what I keep reminding myself. So that's a new mentality I've come in in the past two years with. Last question for me. Uh, I want to ask about someone uh, you know very well, and that's uh, Britt Baker, who spoke this week about what she's been through over the past year. Did you get to see her interview on TV this week? No. Were you aware of what she'd been going through this past well, year? I don't know what she spoke on. I mean, she's obviously my friend, so I know personally what uh, what she's told me, but I don't know what she said on TV, no. Well, she just told us about the, the medical issue. She went through a mini stroke that she had to deal with, and it pretty much, like, it kept it very uh, quiet. I was just curious if you had yeah. seen what she had been going through privately. So, so I knew, I knew all that, and obviously as a friend, I'm here for support, whatever she needs. She lives very close to me, so if she ever needed to call me, she could. But at the end of the day, you know, you gotta take care of your health at home with the people that love you, and I think that's what she did, and I'm so happy she took care of herself. All the best this weekend, Chelsea. Yes, Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.